Hello, my friend, and welcome to Fear Into Faith. This is our Miracles, Signs, and Wonders edition. I'm your host, Summer Day, and our story today is about a woman from California who was healed miraculously of MS. Wow. Hold on for the ride, and welcome to our stage, Maureen Brundage. Hi there. Well, hello there, friend. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to have yeah. you. You and I have been friends now for, I don't know, about three years. At least, yeah. Hanging yeah. out, doing life together. Yes. And you submitted your story, and it was in our very first Bible journal, mm -hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. So excited. So our very first Bible journal, in case you guys didn't know, this is our fourth edition. Our first one that came out was actually called Fear into Faith, and it featured 52 stories of women that had shifted out of fear and were walking in strong faith with the Lord. And Maureen's was one of the ones that we selected. But then I remember I got a hold of you because I said, we've got to put it in the miracles one. Plus, I'm going to be interviewing people for TV, and I really wanted to have your story in here. So yeah. thanks for being here. Thank you. So you're from California. What else? Yep. Tell us more about yourself. Arcata, California. So we have eight children. Eight uh, children. Together. My Come husband on. married me 39 years ago, almost. Wow. And I had four boys. He had two girls, and we had two more girls. Okay, so hold on. So you were single mom of four, mm -hmm, four married boys. a guy who had two, two girls. girls, then you guys had two more girls. Stop it right now. That's so, like a TV show in the making. Yeah. That's like the Brady Bunch times two. Like you, you, you upped it. Yeah. Four boys, you had two girls, and then you guys had two girls so, together. Yeah. Now we mix wow. in the son-in-laws, the daughter-in-laws, and 19 grandkids. 19 grandkids. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. That's a whole yeah. lot of fun. I know. I love oh, it. I'm so what's what's all the uh, what's the age range of all um, of them? My oldest, um, so I mean, you don't have to name how old they are, but what's the right. age span uh, between the oldest and youngest? Fifty-seven to thirty-three. So are the eight kids? Twenty-four years. Mm -hmm. Wow, fun, yeah. awesome. And then what do you do? Oh boy, I do a lot. Um, <laughs> my Sound husband like and I have rentals, okay. and so I've been in the Airbnb business. I now rent to medical people, plus students, plus we have rentals. Nice. Done a lot of remodel, the kicking the walls down, painting. Nice. I've seen every one of our rentals every which way. I've cleaned every one of them. So I've just, my husband and I together have just really developed, you know, what we have. He, we were able almost 20 years ago to log a piece of property that he was given mm -hmm. and log it and build our dream home that I actually used to have in my head when I was a single mom. Beautiful. Yeah, that's I what love I live that. In. Yeah. I love that. So yeah. good. And then you uh, have some stuff over there. You're also an author. Yes. What do you got there? I've got a couple different things. So right? funny story on this. Okay, hold on. So we got to hold this up here right quick. If you guys haven't seen it, I don't know if we can zoom in, but she actually wrote a book. It's called a, sing a single mom's survival guide. So she was a single mom for how many years? Seven. Seven years, single mom, four boys. So I think she knows a thing or two about <laughs> sing single moms. Um, single mom survival guide. Where can they get this? You can get on on Amazon. Okay, awesome. And um, also, I have some that I I do sell or, you know, yeah. like to help other ministries. Do you have a website for that yet? I don't. We got to remedy that. We're okay. going to remedy and that. And I love this. What is this right here? Tell them. This says, "America, don't turn against God." This is your CD. Yes. Of a song that That's... God gave you and blessed you with. Yes. And then you guys created a music video of it, which is amazing. I love this musical video. It's this music video. It's so good. Yeah. I think they can see the music video on YouTube, right? On YouTube. Yes. Yeah. So yes. guys, go to YouTube. Type in. America, don't turn against God and search Maureen Brundage. Find it, watch it, and then do me a favor, share it with a friend or 10, because this message right here about America not turning against God is more important now than ever before. Ever if you didn't know my heart about getting people to, get, to read the Bible, here's why. We're a country in America that was built on biblical principles, and now we're a country in America where most people are biblically illiterate. We have got to get people turned back to, to God and get their hearts back into the Word, which is what the foundation of this amazing free country was built on. And I think Maureen has done an incredible job with God stewarding the vision of America turning their hearts back to God. So check that out on YouTube. I love it. I Tell too. us, actually, I know we're supposed to talk about the miracle story, but I feel like that that song is its own miracle. I was Tell just, us how it came yes. to be. So I was waking up from 
you know, just it was like two in the morning. Because you're not a songwriter. This is not no, your No, I'm background. not a songwriter. Yeah. But it's like the Lord will play a song that ministers to me or something, and then I'm like, oh. And so I'll just write it down mm -hmm. or go to the piano. I don't play piano. Mm -hmm. I did when I was younger, but I just plunk out the notes mm -hmm. so I don't forget it. But um, this one, I was actually, I woke up, and I could hear Alan Jackson just strumming the guitar, singing the chorus, America Don't wow. Turn Against God. America. And I'm just listening, kind of like, oh, okay, 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 yeah. I think I'll just wait till the morning. Mm. I was like, I can't do that. Wow. And I felt this, like, urgency. And so I got up, and I went into my office, and I just sat there, and everything just Poured came out. Poured out of you. Yeah. Poured out and of so, you. Amazing. And so even though I'm not a songwriter, yeah. I hear them like a radio. So good. And so then I took it and I wrapped it up. I folded it up and I put it in my wallet. And it stayed there. For how many years, Maureen? Well, that was seven years. <laughs> seven years. That's so, a good number. You know, so I, I was flying I, home. I like that for people. <laughs> you know, it's, God's, it's never too late for God to dust off that dream oh, or that song. Oh, yeah. And so I'm on the plane and I always pray, God, put me next to the you know person I need to be by. Yeah. So I get the aisle seat and the guy had his sunglasses on. And this is seven on. years after you'd written it. Yep. And he was, and it was still folded up in my wallet. <laughs> and he was um, asleep, so I didn't bother him. Mm -hmm. And then as the ascent came into Sacramento, he woke up and we started talking. He was a Christian. He was a publisher. And he's part of this amazing group called Confunction. And they've mm -hmm. been around for... A long time, great performance. And I didn't know any of that. So when we went to get our luggage, he took off his sunglasses and he said, when God gives you something, don't hesitate. And I'm like, oh, wow. okay. So we exchanged business cards. And he said, if you need help, I'll help you. So I go home and, oh, when I pulled it out for him to read, I said, yeah. would you like to read this? It was kind of tattered on yeah, the side. Yeah, of course, of course. And he said, this is really good. That's when he offered, you to know. Help, yeah. And so we exchanged business cards. And, and then what? <laughs> and then seven years later. <laughs> you let the business card sit for seven years. You're a big fan of this seven-year well, number. Then what happens? If I could be honest with you, I doubted yeah. me. Wow. And I knew God gave it to me, but who am I? Yeah. But I felt, oh, man, I also so have good. a part of me mm -hmm. that's like, ah, oh, justice. I can feel the Holy Spirit move, and I yeah. can feel when, you know, and I, and I finally told my friend in 2021, the June, I said, I got to do something with this. Yeah. Yeah. I said, and she said, go to the guy that originally said that. <laughs> and said, you're thinking, seven years ago, he's not going to remember me. I said that. I go, wow. oh my gosh, I like his stuff on Facebook because I love their group, yeah. and, you know. And that was it. And she said, call him. I go, well, wow. that, a couple days later, I was changing out my internet, mm -hmm. my modems, mm -hmm. and I was going to delete a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And a girl had worked for me, and she put a bunch of emails mm -hmm. in a file. Mm -hmm. And I'm going down, and I see this Ron Moton 3. I was like, 930 at night. And I hit on it. He had emailed me right after he got off the plane. Wow. And okay, i got to pause you really quick. We're going to take a break, and then we'll be right back, and you're going to hear more about this story. Are you tired of looking at your old photos and not feeling confident and empowered? Your brand is everything, and if you're relying on old glamour shots or selfies, then you're not showing your audience how much your brand is really worth. At Lantana Studios Photography, our custom portrait and branding experiences are designed to showcase your unique personality and style and help you get more in tune with your beauty and inner strength. Show the world that you deserve to be seen. Visit LantanaStudiosPhotography.com and book your personal photo experience today. That's LantanaStudiosPhotography.com. Book now. In a world where challenges echo, one woman's resilience becomes a symphony of triumph. Jennifer's story is a spectacle of transformation. Abandoned and scared, she rises, turning pain into power. This book is your guide with the tools she used. An epic narrative of hope, resilience, and breaking free. Breaking the Bonds, a book by author Jennifer Marcus. Available on Amazon. Welcome back, my friend. We're here with Maureen Brundage. She's got an awesome story about how she was healed from MS. But before we get to that story, we've been talking about this right here. Her, uh, this is her music CD of America Don't Turn Against God, 
which they also have an incredible music video of. And you were sharing the story of how God woke you up in the middle of the night, and he gave you the lyrics, you wrote them down, folded it, put it in your wallet, and seven years go by. Then you meet this gentleman on the plane. Mm -hmm. He says, I want to help you, gives you a business card. You let that go for seven more years. I did. <laughs> and then you saw an email that he had sent you. It was crazy because that night at 9.30, I'm looking at that yeah. he had emailed me. And what did he say in the email? He just said, when you're ready, I'm here. So did you call him the next day? I immediately emailed him. Yay! Okay. And he's a night guy, and okay. he immediately emailed me back. Wow. And so we got it. Well, after he had said that to me in... Um, uh, 2014, mm -hmm. I went home and I had my daughter sing it and we, I got it copyrighted. I love it. So I did that. Yeah. But I was like, well, what do I do now? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And so then we got together, we started working on it. He said, you need a videographer. And I was like, oh, great. You know, where am I going to find that? How do mm -hmm. I do that? And, um, and he began to work with me and he wanted my daughter to sing it because she just had the, yeah. she didn't want to, but then he said, no, you're the right one. Yeah. And so... But anyway, I went to Pedro Deo's event where yeah, I met yeah, you. Where we met. Yes. And then you got a hold of a and videographer. And a, a guy behind me yeah. actually introduced me to my videographer. So good. So your daughter's singing in the music video, but there's a kid in the music video, That's too. That's my granddaughter. Come Elin. on. And, and they're both you're in the, it. And then you're the one doing the vocals yes. over it. So it's actually really special. So yeah. it has you, your daughter, and your granddaughter yes, yes. featured in it. And they're in it in the schoolhouse. And it's so good. It's really, honestly, like, I'm kind of an ego, and I have a, I'm a kind of, I have an ego, and I'm kind of a snub sometimes. When I tell you guys it's good, it's really good. You have to go watch it if you didn't. Search for America Don't Turn Against God on YouTube and check out her video. Video. And the thing so I good. felt about it, because people that I would let listen to just to my daughter, that mm -hmm. I'd send it to them, and they'd go, I can't stop singing that. No, you go, can't. Good. It's very catchy. Good. I was singing it on break. I know, because that is an anthem. Is that yeah, God said, good. this is my heart, and mm -hmm. everything has been, been happening, even the last couple months. Wow. I'm like, Lord, please, yeah. you know. So good. So I'm proud of you. I want to see what else God's going to do with this song. All right, I think we can get to this amazing MS healing journey yes. that you went through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go back in time. When was this all happening? What year were you diagnosed with MS? Uh, 1988. 1988. So, and so that's when people didn't really know a lot about what no. it was. Did they label it as MS originally? Um, I, immediately. That was a God thing. Yes. So they said, okay, this is MS. Yes. yes. And what did they tell you about having MS? Well, the only thing that what happened is I'd been a runner. Um, I just, my daughter, my first daughter I had was actually eight months old. Wow. And so. Yeah, because you're, don't you still ski and stuff? Oh yeah, we just went last Come weekend. Come on, do you want to say how old you are? You got to say how old you are. I don't care. Come on, say how old you are. I'm 72. Yeah, and you're crushing it. Oh, yeah. And you go skiing <laughs> and I like, love it. Yeah. what else do you do? Um, just I'm back walking. I would like to say that You're I'm... You're super active because you ski. I'm like, oh, yeah. look at her, man. Uh, I love it. My mountains. husband, yeah. We, so great. He just, he just got his new skis and he'll be 80 in um, May. Your husband's going to be 80 and he's still skiing. Oh, yeah. High five up top. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love it. We That's going to be me. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm, no, don't stop. Uh-uh. I'm going to Moses this There's thing. a few things that I did stop, but I'm getting back into them. Good. But Proud of you. I was a, a weightlifter, skier, runner... Yeah. All um, those, super years. active, super Roller fit. Roller skater, everything. And so how did the MS start? Well, this was crazy because I had just gotten back to running. Okay. And I noticed my eye going like this. And oh. I went, that's weird. And then um, I went, oh, I had a really sharp pain under my arm. Okay. And when I was nursing, it was like, oh, no, is this like milk fever? But yeah. what happened is I went, I started running. And it spread and my body just started going numb. Wow. And so I went to a clinic, and mm -hmm. this woman was amazing, and she really believed me. You know, I told her my story. I've had kids at home and all this kind of stuff. And so she, um, she believed me, and we did a blood work, and she got me in on a cancellation that was on a Thursday. She got me in to the neurologist mm -hmm. on a Monday, mm -hmm. and they did the MRI, and... Thursday when I went back, he said, you know, it's MS and I need you in the hospital. I go, I can't do that. I've got four older boys and a baby. I can't. Yeah. He goes, that's exactly why we're doing it. <laughs> wow. Because you need to be on an IV. So I was on an IV for eight hours a day for 10 days. Wow. 
while I was in the hospital, though, I immediately said, uh-uh. I, I said to my friend, I said, take me to the store. I'm getting a jogging suit. I'm not going to wear the hospital mm -hmm. stuff. And I listened to the Bible on tape all night because I knew it was a healing power of God. Mm -hmm. And I only watched like aerobics programs because the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so Come is on. he. Come on. So you were already deciding, uh-uh, oh. I'm not taking this. No way. When they gave you the diagnosis, so I've had friends and stuff with MS, and a lot of times they say, like, it's just going to get worse, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what, do they, what did they say was going to happen to you? He didn't really say anything. Okay. But and he definitely said you wouldn't I be said to him, anymore and stuff, I right? said, will I run again? Mm -hmm. And he goes, you probably will. And I said, all right, just get me there. I don't care. Wow. Do whatever okay. you got to do because that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And so it was really, um, really getting into, okay, who's my enemy here? Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not God. It's the enemy. Yeah. And so he gradually, and I continued to just say, thank you, Jesus, for helping me, I, you know, I go skiing, water skiing, do whatever. And I went to a naturopath, and she put me on a, uh, I guess you call it candida, and she started mm -hmm. working with me. Mm -hmm. And then plus the word of God mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. and I got back to it. And I know that summer I was water skiing, and I was just crying. I was like, thank you, Lord. Come on. And then um, they also said, you know, so, I mean, my body healed. Wow. And they also said, don't have any more children. So I was kind of like, ah, okay. But I knew the Lord had healed me. And yeah. I had gone to a, a church camp. And while we were there, I was worried that I was pregnant. Even though I knew the Lord healed me, you know, you still kind of mm -hmm. go through yeah. that. And I remember they had a, a cross lodged between two trees and during worship. And the Lord said, look at that cross. I did. He said, I took MS on that cross. Oh, wow. And so my fear went away, and I was pregnant. <laughs> wow. And um, my little girl. What did the doctor say when you were like, I'm healed? And what did the doctor say? Oh, this is pregnant? funny. So I had some issues with one of my wrists, and I thought it was a pinched nerve. So I mm -hmm. went back to the same neurologist, mm -hmm. and he said, you know, uh, if all the testing I've given you, you don't even act like you have, there's nothing that says you have a pitched nerve, let alone MS, and I diagnosed you. Wow. So, so. <laughs> and and, and what, was he like just in shock? Like, what? Well, I told him, I mean, I talk about Jesus. Yeah. And it's kind of like, you know, I was going to offer you a medication. I go, yeah. Because we've got a sneaking hunch you're not going to take it. And I went, hmm. <laughs> Like, is the prescription Jesus? Because then, yes, count me in. And so that, you know, and they, they said, well, I ended up pregnant with my sixth yeah. child. Yeah. And my, but I still have my two stepdaughters, so we're eight yeah. total. What did they say when you said, I'm pregnant? Because they didn't want you oh, to Oh, they didn't, no. Well, they, you didn't he, did, he just offered that when he diagnosed me. Got it, got it. And then, you know, but here, we, here she was. And wow. you want to know the funny okay, thing? Okay, no, you, yes, I do. But you're going to have to come back after this to know the funny thing. The number one tool for generational wealth is and always has been real estate. Property ownership is the most trusted financial security. And there's so many benefits. Most people lack the information, education, and more importantly, the mindset to make real estate repeatable and profitable. Until now. Our step-by-step -step approach will give you the knowledge and tools necessary to help you grow your portfolio. Check me out, ToneRobinson.com. Welcome back, my friend. We've got Maureen Brundage here who got healed of MS. And I don't know if you know a lot about MS, but uh, I know MS and fibromyalgia can sometimes be um, 
they're not the same, but they have that diagnosis of you get it and there's not a cure for it. And there's a lot of like, oh, you can take this medication or that. And that's what I had. I had fibromyalgia mm -hmm. and then I got cured of fibromyalgia. So my heart was like, oh, the MS thing, that could be really hard. But I love it. There's so many people that have MS and you're giving them hope. And um, during break, I asked you what this was. Let's take a look <laughs> at that really quick. All right. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so you've got this paperwork here from some tests that you did. I know you all won't be able to see them. I don't know how much you can zoom in over there, but we've got uh, these test results right here. And uh, tell me more about them. So I went to a functional medicine practitioner. Mm -hmm. My daughter had gone to her and I went mm -hmm. and she is giving me the results and I'm on, you know, taking a lot of homeopathics. Mm -hmm. And when she did the, I, I have the gene code for MS. Okay, yes. And so mm -hmm. when she did the testing, um, you do a lot of the testing in MS, and there are indicators in the, in the gut with the bacteria yeah. that is specific to MS. Yeah, she wrote it on the bottom here. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to read it to you. It's uh, Ackermanshia musinfilia. Yeah. That's the name of this in that bio in bio indicator. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so she's taking me down this list. We're on a Zoom call. And she said, but this is really amazing because this is the indicator for multiple sclerosis. Yeah. So when anybody have that's it, had it, yep. prone to it, or have had it, he, she goes, and I know you had it. So anyone who's had it mm -hmm. is going to have it or is prone to right. it. Right, because you can do... They will have this indicator. Yes. Okay. You can do certain things to help, you know. Mm -hmm. And she said, now look at where that is. So, of course, you have the orange. Yes, things in the orange are not good. We don't want to have the things in the orange. Okay. And then yellow, like, you're kind of mm -hmm. there. And she said, yours is in the green. It's massively in the green. And she said, it's just as if you never had it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's just as if Jesus like went in there. Took it. He, she said, I can work with this and it, we can do some correcting over two to three years. But she said, this came in like God just pushed it out and just wow. didn't, it doesn't even show up. Yeah. You're, it's like it doesn't even exist. Yeah. Right there. You can see that one right there is off the charts in the green. It's completely higher than all of the other ones. And that right there is the indicator that, uh, for MS. So she's not even in the yellow or the orange, just boom, all the way solidly in the green. So cool, huh? <laughs> so amazing. I mean, I love when we have actual document proof of a miracle yeah, because, I know. you know, you know I, didn't ha I don't have document proof of my um, fibromyalgia being healed, but I do have a doctor who diagnosed me like yes. you. And when I came back, she's like, I've never seen anybody healed yeah. of fibromyalgia. They're always worse on their right. checkups. It's just how much worse are they? Right. And so I do have her saying the same thing. It's like, yeah. it's like you were never diagnosed, but yeah. I diagnosed you, sent you to a specialist yes. who diagnosed you. So I know that you have it. So this is amazing. Did you cry your eyes out when yeah. she's like, it doesn't yeah. even exist in your body? Yeah. Come on, that's Jesus. No one can tell me it's not. <laughs> so I, I love praying for people. I've seen, and, and I just want to share it. Um, Easter Sunday a couple years ago, I was making the bunny muffins and the lamb cake, and I'm in the kitchen. Of course the you were, because you're a super mom and grandma. <laughs> yeah. you made, I don't want you, I want you to know I've never made the, what'd you call them? Bunny muffins? My daughter's, yeah. I and got, what cake? Oh, we have a lamb cake thing. Yeah, I've never made every the year. bunny My muffins mom did and the it, lamb I do cake. It. Nope, yeah. I've never done that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and so, and the Passion of the Christ was on. Okay. And of course, I'd seen that, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm busy doing this. I'm not going to watch it. I'll just go turn it off. So I walk up to the TV, and it was right when Jesus was getting whipped. And I just froze, and I just watched. I stood there, and, you know, I couldn't move. And I watched every bit of his skin being ripped and the blood. And Jesus said to me, that's what healed you. Wow. That's what healed you of wow. MS. Wow. Wow. And I just praise God. Wow. Just... How has this strengthened your faith? Oh, God. <laughs> I love how you giggle. You're like, I'm solid as a rock now. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm just so thankful. It's what he did for us. Yeah. And so I, I love praying for people, you know. I got a funny story because it looked like I was never going to run again. 
Wow. And uh, uh, how many years later? My daughter was seven. She was, okay, she was born in 1990. And so when she was seven or eight, I ran my first half marathon. And I have a picture of me finishing, and her little head's right here. And so she's our, you know, our eighth one. And at 25, she started running. She was always an athlete, but she mm -hmm. started running. Her first marathon, she did under four hours. Her second one, she qualified for the Boston. Wow. And the fourth one was the Boston. Wow. And I thought, take that, devil. <laughs> <laughs> the one you told me not to have. It's wow. just kind of like, there you go. Wow. And so, so good. I praise God. I just praise God. He's been so good to me. Yeah. And just. What did this do for your family when you got healed? How did that, you know? <laughs> you probably have to ask them. I'll have to ask them. I will it's ask kinda them. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, there's mom. You know, that's sure, sure, sure. They're like, that's just mom. Yeah, that's and so mom. you say now you pray for people. You ever prayed and had anybody get healed that you prayed for? Um, not that, I mean, people get healed, you know. My son, my youngest son, um, I mean, my oldest son, um, he used to, when I was a single mom, if I got a headache, he would pray for me and it'd go away. I love and that. And so when I was on my way to the hospital, we pulled him out of school and they all held hands. Mm -hmm. And he goes... God, you always healed mom's headaches when I prayed, so this is nothing to you but a headache. <laughs> oh, I like that. This is nothing to God but a headache. Yeah. So and my good. husband, I have to say too, prayer warrior, so whenever I'd start to get a symptom, I'd go, take authority, and he would, and it'd go away. So good. How long have you been married? 39 years, May 4th. 39 years, so good. Well, we do have a couple more minutes left. Let's go, let's go back to this book over here. We talked a long time about your song. But we didn't talk too much about your book. What made you want to write this? This is in case you didn't see earlier, A Single Mom's Survival <laughs> Guide. Great title. What made you want to write that? I was running because that's, I ran when I was a single mom. Mm -hmm. And I was running down this one road in August of 84. And the Lord said, I want you to write all the miracles I'd done. Mm. And so I was like, okay. So took me 31 years. <laughs> Maureen, you just like to sit on words from the Lord. I feel like I'm supposed to smack you with this book. Yeah, blood. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no oh more. Gosh. Anyway, and Joyce Myers actually said on one of her programs, if the Lord told you to do something, you haven't done it. Yeah. Get on it. I was like. Can you do me a favor really quick? Just look right at that camera and you just say that to the person watching. Oh, if the Lord told you to do something, don't hesitate. Do it. Come on. Good job. <laughs> We needed to hear that. Yeah. And so I did. But I had had the story in my head mm -hmm. because of the miracles he did. And it's about forgiving, giving, and blessing. Forgiving, giving, and blessing. Yes. I love and it. he spoke to me when I was a single mom, like, to tithe my food stamps. Wow. I know. And I was like, okay, God, okay. But I did it. And I, I did. I took $10, and I put it into a, one of the church's food things yeah. or something. I came home from cleaning houses because that's what I did as mm -hmm. a single mom. Um, came up on the porch and there was over $100 of food and laundry soap and things wow. like that. Wow, after you had tithed. Mm -hmm. So God was like showing up going, this is and what's going to happen. The whole story is about tithing and about Amen. giving and how God challenged me, even at Christmas time. You know, would I tithe or would I choose to have $20 a boy? For Christmas, mm -hmm. or I'd only have five dollars if I tithe. And we lived in a, a neighborhood. The Lord always blessed me with a nice house, nice neighborhood. So all the kids would be out there with their dads and playing, mm -hmm. and I'd always be like, "Oh!" And this Christmas, I actually we got like thirty seconds left. Morning, I tithed, and I saw miracles. Neighbors didn't know, and they put together amazing bags oh. of toys. I love it. So good. So all those stories are in here? Oh, yeah. So awesome. All right. Get yourself the Single Mom Survival Guide. You can buy it on Amazon. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I love it. I love hearing all your stories. I love your oh, book. I love your song. God is so good. I love so that good. you got proof that God just plucked that he ass did. out of you. He so did. So thank you for being here. Thank I you. I love being here with you. And thank you so much for watching, my friend. I pray that you have a radical counter with God that you can say, man, it was like God just plucked me out of that situation, whether it's your health or whatever it is, I pray that God will just stretch and grow your faith as he has Maureen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.